This is the video to announce the winner of the September fixed line challenge. There was five entries. There will be a link to the uh, the playlist in the description below. So make sure you check out all the guys' videos. There were some great videos in this uh, for this month. <clears throat> make sure you check out all the videos. <clears throat> and uh, so I'll just I'll get right to it. Uh, like I said, I was doing this one um, points based. As you can see, there's the five names up top is Dave Teffer, Beyond the Cane Pole, Fishing Nate in nine two eight, M O J S M G, and Farab two two one. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, or it could be F A Rob two two one. Don't really know. Uh, so the categories I did is numbers of fish. You got a point for each fish you caught. Quality of best fish, uh, one through three points. Difficulty, one through three points. Other, one through three points. And bonus points, three bonus points for the guys that put a video in for uh, August for the bonus points. And then the totals. So, what I'm probably going to do is I'll just take a... Um, I'll take a picture of this and put it in the video right here. And uh, so you can see all the points and how. No, actually, I'll put it in at the end. I'll put a picture of this in at the end so everybody can see all the points, how it all worked out. And I'll just go through and explain it all right now. Um, I'm just going to go in, in order from top to bottom. I'll read them all off and I'm going to kind of explain why. Uh, you know why why that many points for the for the different things so first Dave Teffer he got one point for catching one fish caught a nice uh, I believe it was a red ear could have been a pumpkin seed um, they're tough to tell unless you get a really good look at them but either way for quality of the fish I gave it a two it looked like a you know like a seven inch maybe an eight inch red ear looked like a nice sized sunfish so I gave him a two for that. And uh, of course quality is based on the type of fish that it is. You know, like, you know, obviously a, a seven inch, like if you took a 10 inch bluegill is a really nice bluegill where a 10 inch bass is a small bass. So, you know, the 10 inch bluegill would be like a three point fish and a 10 inch bass would be a, a one point fish. Uh, for difficulty, Dave got a three because he started out with a uh, a little rake and he cleaned up some leaves and he found his worm and a grub and then he ended up finding some line and he uh, a stick he took a stick and then he took a uh, a jig head that he already had in his tackle box and tied that on and then he ended up wading out in the the water and uh, hooking somebody else's line that they had you know cut off and left behind and that had a hook and a bobber and some sinkers and he ended up using that and tied it off to a to a nail that was in a board or part of the bank or something and that's how he caught his bluegill was on a piece of worm or actually it was on a whole worm on everything you know the hook line and sinker everything he found so that was really cool. Um, for other, he got three. Basically because of, you know, finding everything there for part of it. And he also cleaned up a lot of trash, which is uh, great to see. You know, guys taking care of other people's messes, other people that don't want to clean up after themselves. And Dave did a lot of work cleaning up. He got three points for the bonus totals up to 12 points. Uh, beyond the cane pole, Peter, number of fish, he caught one. It was a goldfish. For quality, I gave it a one. It was a small goldfish. Um, I've caught a lot of goldfish in a pond when I was growing up. One of the ponds here in town had a bunch of goldfish in it. I don't know if they're still there. But they were, you know, five, six inch goldfish. So this one was a little smaller than that. So that's, that's the only way I've got to judge a, a goldfish. 
is that a lot of the little ones we used to catch were like five or six inches and this one looked a little smaller than that and then um, I know I see big the uh, the big koi or fancy carp or whatever they are the big like orange carp out in the canal and those get big you know 18 24 inches in that range they get big so and so I gave it a one for a two or yeah I'm sorry for a difficulty I gave it a two because he was using uh he used some bread and his pole I believe he said his pole he made so that's why he got the two points basically if you used if you used it like a you know a store-bought cane pole and you know everything else and bait and all, and all that you're gonna get one point for difficulty so he got two because uh he said his pole was I believe he said it was a pole he made so I gave him two points for difficulty <coughs> excuse me for other I gave him three because it's a really funny video um, he does a, a, a little bit about how he's sneaking into this private pond to fish and it really ends up it's just uh, like a big tank for uh, for some plants for his wife but it's pretty cool uh, I, I liked it a lot he has three points for the bonus gave him a total of ten points fishing Nate in 928 I counted eight fish that could be wrong I could have miscounted um, it it really doesn't make a difference because he had at least um, let's see if he had he had at least five fish and that's enough that it it doesn't make a difference he might have had a little bit he might have had another one he might have had one less I don't really remember but uh, I kind of lost track. For quality of best, I gave him a two. <clears throat> Excuse me. He caught uh, he caught a bunch of bluegills, one bass, and a couple carp. I think it was pretty. Th I think he caught like three carp. If if you go by my numbers, that would be like four bluegills, one bass, and three carp. And I think that's what he caught, but I'm not really sure. Um, quality of best, I gave him a two. He was catching some nice-sized carp. His scale said they were like two and a half, three and a half pounds. Um, I don't know if he had his scale set in kilograms by mistake. Because I would have believed those carp to be you know five six seven pounds they weren't huge but they weren't really they didn't look really small like what a three pound carp looks like but they could have been I you know it was hard to tell but I gave him a two for quality anyways uh, for difficulty I gave him a two uh, because it was really it, you know as far as difficulty is concerned it was fairly basic he did the uh, you know they were all you know all bought poles and and uh, using using corn for bait for the carp at least I don't know what he was using but he was using two or three poles he was using um, two uh, B&M crappie poles and a Cuban yo-yo so that's pretty cool so he used three different poles or you know three different setups so that's where he got the two points for difficulty uh, for other, he gets a point. It was a good video. Nothing wrong with it. You know, I'm not knocking it at all. But it was, you know, pretty much a basic video. Really cool still. But, you know, nothing like that jumped out that made it an, an amazing video. And that's more so because I've seen him. He's done a couple Cuban yo-yo for carp videos. And if this was the first one I'd seen, then it would have been really cool. But now that I've seen a couple, it's... You know, it's still cool. It's just, you know, kind of lost a bit of its luster. He also got three points for the bonus for uh, the August video. Gave him a total of 16. Next up is MOJ SMG Steve. For a number of fish, I counted three. Could have been a fourth. He said he caught about five. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't do all his on video. They were all smaller bluegills, so quality of fish he got a one. 
difficulty I gave a one because it was uh you know he was using worms and a and a float and a hook and you know it's all it's all bot stuff and for other I gave him a two because he's showing something that you can do that I think a lot of people overlook that they'll go out and buy baits buy you know buy minnows and stuff like that if they're gonna go pike fishing or bass fishing or something and you can go and have a lot of fun especially if you've got little kids you can take them out and catch bluegills and get you know five ten bluegills something like that that are all in like the three to five inch range maybe even you know maybe even six inch depending on how big the bass and pike get in your area and you can use those for bait and it's a lot of fun so that's why he got two points is that he did he did something that I think is really overlooked is using small bluegills for bait and that's why he was out catching them I believe he said they all ended up getting released because of a rainstorm so he ended up having to just toss them all back but and then the uh, the new entry I don't know if it's F.A. Rob or Farab 221. He was fishing over in Germany. He caught three fish. They were all uh, sculpin. They look very similar to round gobies. I don't know if they're the if they're the same thing over there or not. Round gobies are from um, they're from I think they're from the Red Sea area. So I don't know how spread out they are over Europe, but. Or Mediterranean Sea. I'm sorry, not Red Sea. Mediterranean Sea. I don't know. They're, they're from somewhere in Europe. And uh, they came in through um, the ballasts and, and all the uh, big ships. They go down the St. Lawrence River and they came in that way. And they got in the Great Lakes. And now they're spread all over most of the you know water that, that connects to the Great Lakes. Um... But either way, you know, quality of fish, I gave them a one. They were all, you know, they were all like the fairly small sized three inchers. They're a smaller fish anyways, as, you know, as far as my understanding of them. But they were still on the smaller end of them. Uh, difficulty, I gave him a three. He was hand lining. Uh, no, no pole, no anything. So just hand line with a hook. He used three different baits. He used corn, he used um, chicken, and he used some bread. So he used some of his lunch, or his breakfast, that was a chicken sandwich, and he used some of the bread and the chicken, and then some corn. And he caught a fish on all three baits. So that was really cool. For other, I also gave him three points. It was a really great video. Um, a great first entry. And... Uh, you know, it's a great video. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you check out his channel and subscribe. All, I mean, same with all these guys, but most of these guys, you've probably already seen their videos. Uh, he didn't get a video in for August, so his total is 10 points. So, uh, the winner is Fishing Nate in 928, 16 points. And uh, thanks to all the competitors, I will be contacting... Fishing Nate in a uh, probably after the weekend, I'll be talking, getting a hold of him and seeing what he chooses for prizes and everything. Again, thanks to all the winners. I hope everybody had fun. Uh, this is the last. <coughs> excuse me. This is the last contest for this year. It'll be back again uh, probably next April. Depends on. Probably next April. It's tough to say, but around that time.